So the last block, which we haven't covered, or we have covered most of it now, is, is the MPU block, which is uh, in the, uh, all of the Cortex M4 and M7 devices. So as we've, I think we've pretty much covered most of this. So it covers eight independent memory regions where you can allocate the caching to be on or off, the particular cache policy for that memory region that you've allocated, and then about can you execute code or the privilege mode access which you need for the RTOS. So inside there, you've got the different policies. So the allocate policy will decide what you do when you do the cache miss how you, um, what you move across into the cache. Uh, and same goes for the read allocate to do with the read miss. And then you've got the two write back policies that you can enable for, or sorry, write back and write through policies for the data cache to see what um, information actually stays local inside the cache or goes out to the external memories that you're replicating. So these are the memory attributes. So this is the text um, information that uh, Yoshi was saying earlier about how each area can be allocated. So you can decide which type of memory it is, normal, device memory, is it non-shareable, cacheable, and how the read allocates. So you can do that for each of the eight different sections on the MPU. And then we have the default table. So this is what Yoshi was saying, where from a reset standpoint, this is how the device is configured uh, in hardware by us as ST. So things like the peripheral registers uh, are there. So it's got the XN command against it. So you can't execute code from anywhere in that address range, which you wouldn't want to because it's where you're configuring all your peripherals uh, timers and everything else. So this is our default table, how we've allocated this to be started. And then you can manipulate that in the MPU section to change the different areas. So by default, address C million, which is the SD RAM, uh, is not executed code from um, default. So where we've just been playing around with one of the examples and we're executing code from C million according to where the linker file was allocating it. So therefore we've changed in the MPU the ability to execute code at that address range inside.